Sharm al-Sheikh, an Egyptian tourist hotspot that drew in some 10 million visitors last year alone, despite experiencing a slump since the 2011 revolution. But a wave of deadly attacks across the country's Sinai province have cast doubt over the safety of the resort. On July the 1st, the Islamic State group launched a series of coordinated attacks on Egyptian security forces, starting with a suicide car bombing at an army checkpoint. The strategy of the Islamic State group is to spread the jihadist ideology all the way through to Libya. And because Egypt is in an area that's less populated, with a large part of it in desert land, and is less controlled by the state, this is where these jihadists can set up a base for themselves and organize their attacks. Another strike came in August 2013 when extremists carried out a rocket attack on two police minibuses in northern Sinai. In January 2014, clashes broke out between Islamists and the army. And later in February, a deadly bomb tore through a bus near Egypt's border with Israel. All this despite a campaign by the Egyptian military against insurgents in the Sinai province.